What's up guys, John here in downtown, beautiful Tampa, Florida, in the Channel Side District, world renowned baby. And this is the headquarters of Tight Medical Center. Don't worry though, just because we're located here in Tampa, Florida, doesn't mean we cannot service you with all our great therapies, blood work, and more nationwide. So after the video, I'll give you all the contact information for that, but let's talk about it. Downtown right now, you know, I mean, it's so beautiful down here in Florida. And if you guys aren't living in Florida, feel sorry for you guys. I know it's getting, or it might be getting cold where you guys are at, or it's gonna be very soon. But you know, down here, I like to just get out and get a walk in, right? Because, you know, as we go through our busy days, day in and day out, you know, a lot of people say, hey, listen, John, I can't find the time to get any exercise in. And you know, I'm like, listen, we gotta go through your day because there's gonna be some time in your day where you can get some sort of exercise or activity in, right? And for example, just out here, what I'm doing today, I'm gonna go take a little walk around, get some fresh air, see some of the businesses, maybe run some people I know, who knows, right? But I'm gonna get some activity, right? I'm gonna get some, some outdoor life in me. And it's good to get outdoors. It's not good to stay indoors 24 seven, especially if you're working in an office all day, get out, get on your lunch break, do something, go walk around, you know, get some fresh air and get some activity in. And even if you're at your house and you're working from home, you can go take a walk around your block, or you know do some push-ups or sit-ups here you know in between you know some of your activities or whatever you're doing online or your meetings or whatever it may be right take that time for yourself so you know as i walk around down here it's, it's really cool to see because i remember this place maybe like 10 years ago and 10 years ago there was nothing down in channel side um it just hit the crash you know after the 2008 uh thing that happened as far as that a lot of people went under a lot of business went under and Channel Side was really a lost city, per se, or a lost area of the city. And uh, it really started picking up steam about three years ago, four years ago, where everybody really started moving down here. A lot more construction happened. Um, you know, it is what it is, you know, but at that point I get to walk around on this beautiful district. And if you guys don't have somewhere to walk around, go find a gym where you guys can go, or go find a place where maybe a park or whatever it is, and get that activity in. You know, and like I said, People need activity every single day, right? To be healthy and not to gain a whole bunch of weight. On the average, before, you know, the lockdowns and all the garbage that happened, you know, an average American would gain one to two pounds every single year of their life. And then as you went on, year in and year out, you started gaining a lot more weight, right, over the years, and then you start becoming overweight and possibly, possibly obese. And then this starts coming with medical issues, health issues, and things that will absolutely hurt your quality of life, right? So in the last couple of years, instead of one to two pounds, people have gained an average of 10 pounds. Think about that. Literally 10 or five times the body weight that they would normally gain if it was one or two pounds, right? So we need to look at some different things. And when we're walking, if you are gonna walk, just so you know, in your day, and you can get a watch, a Fitbit, whatever it is to keep track of this, but you usually have to do 8,200 steps a day, right? Now that might seem about a lot, right? But as you're walking up and down, maybe your job, to your car, whatever it may be, your watch or whatever you have keeping track of these steps will tell you, and you'll, you'll work up these steps pretty quick. Um, unless you're sitting down at your job all day for 12 hours, you might not get that many steps in. This is where you're gonna to have to be proactive and you're actually gonna to have to go get some activity somewhere else. And look, I'm walking downtown right now and look who I see. And this wasn't planned either, it was just funny. We got Big Drew here, right? And look at Navy all the way, my brother. Yeah, so it, it's just crazy. I was telling people, I'm like, listen, be active, get outside, take some steps, get some fresh air, some exercise. I know Big Drew is a proponent of walking. He like to do his wrist walks and, and, and walk pretty hard in the mornings. Right, vitamin Drew? D. Love the vitamin D. Vitamin, vitamin D, right? D. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you got to get it. You got to get outdoors. It's nice. It's, it's fun. And like I said, you know, you'll get some exercise in. You might see people who you, you know, right, outside. You get, get to have some conversation. And, uh, you know, if you need a buddy, too, that'd be an awesome way to do it. 
have some other friend that wants to lose weight or wants to get in shape or just wants to be healthy, you know, come along with you for a jog, for a walk, or, or you know, you're exercising inside a gym or whatever it is. You know, it's funner with a partner sometimes and sometimes they can keep you motivated, right? You know, it's hard. You know, you've had the long days, you go to the gym or you're going to walk, you're like, man, I still feel like doing this. Well, that's where that buddy is going to push you. Hey, listen, man, let's go. Time to turn it up, right? This is for you. This isn't for me and motivate you how to do that. If they're doing it, you can do it too as well. So it's just really, really cool thing. Let's walk because I don't want to get in these people's way here. But yeah, man, so that's it. Be active, walk, enjoy your surroundings outside or wherever you're at. If you're in a city, go walk downtown. Um, try not to walk in crime infested neighborhoods. I don't want you guys getting hurt, but make sure you guys are you know, in a safe area, but you're enjoying the outside area too as well and be active. That's the main part of this video. Be active, have fun. You only have one life to live, enjoy it, and be the healthiest you can while doing that, right? Hi, my name is David Hensley, and I am a Titan patient. Let me just start off by saying how much Titan has changed my life. Almost 50 years old, and with a few injuries and aches and pains, Titan Medical Center and their custom therapies have really shown me a better way of living my life, more healthier and more advantageous lifestyle. The new therapy that I'm on right now is the BPC-157 peptide, and I'm telling you, this therapy works. I've had a few surgeries over the year, this past year, and it has helped me heal my tendons, my cartilage, my ligaments, just my muscles in general on my body. Getting the rest and recovery is also important, and Titan therapies allow me to do just that. I'm telling you people, go out, check out TitanMedicalCenter.com. Let your health be your wealth and your fitness and optimal goals be achieved. That's Titan Medical Center. What's up guys, John here from Titan, and we are here to help you feel better, look better, and perform better on a daily basis. That's right, Titan Medical Center can help you lose that weight, gain that lean muscle mass, and feel better mentally, physically, and sexually. Titan Medical Center services nationwide, so it's at your convenience, and we offer everything for males and females in home replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, peptide therapies, rejuvenation detox, libido enhancers, blood work, and a lot, lot more. So if you want to become part of the Titan family, then you need to call or text us today, 727-389-3220, and check out all of our cool therapies and a lot more cool content at TitanMedicalCenter.com. Thanks, guys. What's up guys, John here, my beautiful wife Sharice, hey. and we are here at the Hurricane Bay Pro-Am Show here in St. Petersburg, Florida. That's right, in this awesome Coliseum venue, this is like an old classic, old school theater. It's got awesome seating in there, it's got an awesome environment. We're going to go in, see all the competitors, see who rocked it today, professionals and amateurs today, so it's going to be a really, really good uh, little mix in there, right? And then all the other people that are spectators are showing up to support their family, their friends, and to get to see these great competitors do what they do so hard and so well, right? Um, all these competitors, big shout out to them. Big dedication as far as what they're doing, their training, their nutrition, everything like that. I um, mean, it takes a lot, trust me. So it's Definitely. not just them getting on, on the stage and flexing their muscles. Um, so Titan Medical Center wants to be there, support these guys, support these athletes, and make sure that they're being healthy, right? Because health should be number one priority. That's what this whole thing's about. It's about a healthy lifestyle. Living better, feeling better, and performing better day in and day out, right? And being your best. So take a look, come back with us. Behind the scenes, we'll show you guys what's going on in the show. Uh, show you around, maybe introduce you to a couple other people in there, and then give our great speech on the stage to make sure everybody knows what Titan Medical Center is all about and how we can help them nationwide. So guys, follow us in and see what it's all about. Let's, Let's go. go. How you doing? 
Sure. Oh, yes. Hello, everybody. My name is John. This is my beautiful wife, Sharice. My brother from another mother, Big Drew. And we're from Tide Medical Center. Tide Medical Center can help you guys out anywhere nationwide with hormone replacement therapy, medical weight loss, vitamin amino acid injectable therapies, rejuvenation detox, peptide therapies like healing peptides, weight loss peptides, and sexual peptides. Plus, we also have awesome libido enhancers for both males and females. Blood work nationwide too as well. And that's really important because you gotta check what's going on on the inside to make sure you guys are healthy, feeling good, looking good, and performing your very best every single day. So don't delay. You can check us out back there at our booth or call our text us, 727-389-3220. We appreciate you guys. So guys, done with the Hurricane Pro here in St. Petersburg, Florida at the Coliseum. It was one hell of a show. These competitors all showed out. The vendors were awesome here. Tight Medical Center, obviously we did our thing. Tons of giveaways. Got to sign up a ton of people on the iPads so on the newsletter, getting to get all the information about Tight Medical Center and what we can do to help them. But man, what a great show. Team Titan definitely did their thing tonight. From our media crew to our Titanettes, even Big Drew passing out shirts and taking pictures of everybody. So guys, one hell of an event. Make sure you're following us to see what other events that we're doing so you guys can join in on all the fun and come see us at Titan Medical Center. And maybe, you know, talk with us, take a picture with us, or maybe ask us a question about what can help you guys feel better, look better, and perform better. If you guys have any questions, concerns, give us a call or text at 727-389-3220. Check out our website, TitanMedicalCenter.com. And man, if you want to see all these cool videos, behind the scenes, and all this great stuff, go over to YouTube, type in Titan Medical Center, Hit that all notification bell so you guys can get all the great content from us to you guys. We love you guys. Thank you for the support. And check out the next event from Titan Medical Center coming to you guys very soon. See you then. What's up, guys? John here from Titan. And today I want to talk to you about something that is essential for you every single day to do. And that's sleep. That's right. Sleep is an essential part, or should be, of your daily routine. And it'll help you in a number of different ways revitalizing your body, rejuvenating your body, recovering your body. So the next day you're not tired or you're brain dead. You feel like a zombie walking around. This can happen with sleep deprivation or not getting enough sleep the night before, right? I think we've all been there. Whether you study for a test all night, you've had to work on you know, work projects at night, or you've just stayed up and watched TV too late, okay? I think we've all been there. Don't worry about it. If this is happening you know, once in a while, that's one thing. But there are people out there that don't get the proper amount of sleep every single night, right? And that is an issue. So there's two types of people that sleep or have problems sleeping, I should say. The first one is the person that cannot go to sleep. The wheels just keep turning, thinking about the day, what's happening next week, all the problems in their life, and they just can't go to sleep, right? So they stay up all night. They're either on their phones or watching TV, which will also keep you awake. The other person goes to sleep, but can't stay asleep. They wake up every single hour on the hour, you know, and wondering why they can't get back to sleep and trying to get back to sleep. And at that point, by the time they almost get back to sleep, that alarm is ringing for the next day for them to get up and do their daily routines, right? So what do we have here at Titan Medical Center that can help you guys sleep, get natural rest, can ease the mind, help anxious people, anxiety out there, and help you really get the proper rest that you need to every single day. Well, a great therapy that we offer our patients is our Titan Serenity. It has three main components to it. It has magnesium, taurine, and L-theanine. These three components together work synergistically to help you relax more so you can go and get some sleep, right? And go to bed, get those wheels to stop turning and help you get into deep sleep, that REM sleep that you really want. Those sleepers that go to sleep and wake up every hour, you guys are the ones that will benefit the most from the REM sleep because you can't stay asleep. And that is where all the magic happens, is when you do get that proper rest at night. You wake up rejuvenated, ready to go the next day, energetic, right? You're with it mentally, you're on it, on the ball, clicking, right? Rock and rolling. So guys, if you're looking for a great Titan therapy that can help you get to sleep and possibly stay asleep longer, 
then look at Titan Serenity. It's a really, really awesome therapy that we offer here, and it's helped a number of different patients out there. So if you wanna know more about Titan Serenity, please call or text us at 727-389-3220. If you wanna read up more about it, go to tightmedicalcenter.com. We have that therapy and all the other therapies that we offer. Please get a good night's rest, and if you need help, contact us today. We'd be happy to help you guys out. I'm John from Titan, and this is just another educational video about one of our Titan therapies that have helped a number of different patients and could possibly help you too. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Me and my little pretty wife right here <laughs> are bringing you guys awesome, cool tips, tricks, and things that are going to hopefully help you ignite, entice, and up that relationship to a whole new, better level than what it's at right now, right? And uh, this week, we're going to talk about a really, really good topic. I think it has to do with sacrifice. And sacrifice, I think, in relationships are very common in a lot of different ways, shapes, and forms, mm -hmm. whether in the beginning of relationships, in the middle of relationships, or even at the end of relationships too as well. These things you really need to talk about with your partner, you know, if it is a sacrifice that you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. And, you know, sacrifices come in a lot of different ways, shapes, and There's forms. There's a lot of different right? forms of sacrifice. Even the definition of a sacrifice yeah. might mean something to someone that doesn't mean the same to the next. Well, I mean, even if it's sacrifice, we talk about a lot of different things. So. You know, when you first meet your partner, let's just start there at the beginning of things. There might be sacrifices that you have to, to do to be with that person, whether it's, mm -hmm. you know, cutting down on your gym time after work because, you know, you want to fit this dating thing in, right, with this new person. Um, this could be... Or it could be that you're highly allergic to cats and uh, that you really, really <sighs> liked this guy that had a cat living in the house and you sacrifice taking Benadryl every time to go to the house because you just really like this guy. Oh, that's nothing. Come on. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> <laughs> if not, then I would I, I mean, but I would go over there and be so tired. <laughs> like, oh, I'm so tired, but I really love seeing you. <laughs> Get out of here. She loves cats. Don't worry about it. <laughs> no. Anyway, <laughs> when we talk about that's a sacrifice too, right? If, if you're doing something to like see the person you like and stuff like that, um, and it's not in your normal routine or, you know, you might be allergic to something, you know, that that's going above and beyond. And that's kind of what it is about. It's like going above and beyond for this person you like and you're trying to, you know, have a meaningful relationship with. You know, when we talk about sacrifices too, we talk about different sacrifices, let's say not hanging out with friends, right? Because you know, on your free time, when you had free time, after work, after the gym, or whatever it is, you know, you'd hang out with your friends, maybe go out and have some drinks, or, you know, do some other activity. Right, right, right. But at this point, you might have to give up some of that free time to go with your new, you know, relationship, whatever it is, right? And, uh, and are you going to give up the free time? That, that's the other thing. Are they worth giving up the free time? Yeah. Do you really want to make the sacrifices? Yeah. Are they making sacrifices for you? Yeah. I mean, there's there's all these bullets that go with this, right? That kind of go in conjunction, yeah. Absolutely. you know, with, you know, meeting them at the halfway point, And then you should be making sacrifices and they should be making yeah. sacrifices so that everyone is yeah. on the same page. You don't want people getting, you know, upset with each other either because of the sacrifices that they had to endure. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about some of these main ones. When you're in a relationship, right? Sacrifice. So let's say you just get with somebody, you're having a really, really strong, serious relationship, and then that person gets offered a, a job opportunity. Ten, That's common. Ten states over, right? That's common. And then at that point, you're not married, you don't got no kids, you know, do you guys stay together? Do you move with them? Do you have a long distance relationship? You know, and people that are really all in are probably going to be like, hey, listen, I'm going with you. Right. Right. And that sacrifice, that's uprooting, you know, getting going to the unknown, maybe not having a job secured, whatever it may be, to be with this person. Right. So that's a big sacrifice. Um, another main one that I can think of every single day that I see is with married couples. Mm -hmm. Right. Because right now, you know, the way that things are, usually one parent staying home, one parent's working, or maybe they're both working, you know, at that point, and then one has to sacrifice what they're doing at the end of the day to go take care of the kids, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a big, big sacrifice because, you know, there's guys that have done it, girls that have done it, where the other partner has a really, really flourishing career, 
And at that point, they let their, their partner flourish in their career and they stay home mm -hmm. and be the counterpart at home that's taking care of the kids, taking care of the home, all the things that surround that. And that's a big sacrifice too. That's why, you know, when people say like, you know, a stay-at-home mom is not a full-time job. You know, it, it, is, it is a job to a certain extent. There's a lot of different things that they're taking care of, hopefully the mm -hmm. right way, um, for their partner and for their family. You know, and, and at that point, that is a major sacrifice too as well. And, you know, when your partner does do some sort of sacrifice for you. You want to do some sort of recognition for that. I was just going to say that. Right? Literally, I was just going to say you need to recognize when sacrifices are being made. And that doesn't mean that you need to go and be like everything that they do be like stop and say thank you or I recognize this or you can repay them in many ways. You know, obviously verbal communication right. always is great because then they realize that you realize that that was a sacrifice that was made, you mm -hmm. know? Um, the next thing is to do something nice for them, you know, mm -hmm. and, and, and that's you telling them like, Hey, thank you. I appreciate you making these sacrifices mm -hmm. for me, you know? Mm -hmm. So there is a, a, an abundance of ways to show somebody that you appreciate the sacrifices that are being made, but you know, that you are going to have to, there's no relationship out there where you're not going to make sacrifices. Right. There's going to be sacrifices made. Whether it's financial sacrifices, emotional sacrifices, um, you know, uh, pl th th job sacrifices, physical sacrifices in some physical, cases, physical some some of them, yeah, yeah hundred percent. So mm -hmm. you know, it's important. It's important. Yeah. So I mean, it, it's it, it goes across the board. I mean, like she said, this could hit a number of different scenarios out there. What you're really sacrificing and compromises. Those are sacrifices to a degree too, as well. Mm -hmm. You know, we say it's a compromise, but you're really sacrificing what you wanted for the other person to be happy too as well. Right. Um, and that, that's a big one. Even when people live nowadays, like some people like, uh, I want to live in Florida and that's all I want to live in. And that person's like, well, I want to live in Colorado, but I'll, I'll sacrifice living here for you. Right, right, right. Because right. I know it makes you happy and all these good things. But maybe you guys can visit Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. Like often, you yeah. know, like that's what I'm saying is the compromise comes with the sacrifice, yeah. you know, and the, you that's the whole point of this particular episode is to make sure that you guys recognize it, that you guys appreciate it. Appreciate it, yeah. Because listen, you know, people can make sacrifices all day. And I tell, and one thing I will tell you is if you are continually making sacrifices and the other party, let's say, is not making as many sacrifices and not showing their appreciation, that's eventually going to surface and right. it will become a problem. Right. The resentment will come up. Yes. Um, you know, at that point, they're like, well, you don't care about me and I did all this and mm -hmm. you just don't care. And like some people really don't like relationships can go two ways, three ways, really. <laughs> the, 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 the male partner is more dominant and the female partner falls behind. The feel, female apartment's more dominant and the male partner falls behind or both of them are the exact same level working together. And that's really, really want to be. You don't want to just one having leverage the whole time. That's just no good. Mm -hmm. Somebody's always chasing at that point. You guys should be working together and as walking together side by side as a team. That's yeah, right. They're a team. Um, and you guys will have better respect for each other too as well when you do things like that. Mm -hmm. um, and at that point, it's more appreciative across the board. The person's going to be like, listen, I know you're here with me. I appreciate you doing this. And it just, it, it bond, the bond it, it creates is even better, right? Mm -hmm. This brings you close to that person. Um, you know, even like some of the sacrifices I heard, like, so... Uh, one person got hurt, right? And this chick sacrificed her day to come over and help him stand so he could pee because he just had surgery and couldn't stand on his own legs. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's sacrifice, right? If you're, if you're, you're cleaning up after somebody or even you have somebody that has a disability as, as your partner. Mm -hmm. Let's say, you know, everything was fine. They got in a real bad car accident. Now they can't walk or can't move any limbs or whatever. Yeah, hey, I was in a bad car accident and John had to shave my legs, wash my hair. I mean, <laughs> I can't say I enjoyed this because I'm like, wow, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> but he did it for me, you know? And I mean, anytime he had his surgery, I would do the same thing for him. You know, I'd run up and down the stairs 500 times, whatever he needed, I was there for him, beck and call. But that's the point is to be there for each other and to be a team and work together as a team. You know, it's never, it shouldn't be one way or the other, yeah. you know, sacrifices happen every day. Yeah. Believe it or not, I want you to think about it. Think about what your partner has sacrificed for you this week. Mm -hmm. And then why don't you take two seconds and go say thank you. 
or if they're sitting right next to you right now, turn to them and say, hey, thank you. Like, for instance, I'm going to I'm going to give John a thank you. Right. So John, (laughs) John, John, very much so he sacrifices his workouts and a workout for John is something that he needs to be able to really be able to stay like mentally and emotionally stable. That's like his outlet. Everybody has an outlet. Right. And I understand that. However, John and I work together, and if he ever sees that I'm drowning or like that I'm busy or I might need help with something, he'll sacrifice that time that he could have worked out and come and ask me like, hey, what is it that you need? Like, I'll help you out, you know? And then he doesn't get his workout in, but you know, he helped me. So, you know, I don't always tell him thank you because I'm always so busy, but I'm telling him thank you now and that I do realize and I do recognize it and that it is appreciated more than he can possibly understand. Yeah, so, so it's things like that, though, you yeah. know, so little, little things like that, little sacrifice like that it's go a, a long, long way yeah. in the bigger mm-hmm. picture. Yeah. And even at the end of relationships, you know, you're saying, well, what are you going to sacrifice at the end of the relationship? There's a lot of different things that people sacrifice in different relationships. So let's say, that, you know, there's a relationship between two people and, and let's what are say you splitting up. <laughs> let's say the guy or the girl wants to have a child, yep. but the other person doesn't want to have a child or yep. is infertile. Yeah. At that point, you know, the sacrifice is listen. This person wants this. I'm not going to be able to do this. And at that point, you exit out. You say, listen, I'm not going to be the best thing for you. It's a sacrifice on your part because you really want to be with them, but you know, in the big picture, this is what they want, and you're not going to be able to help out in that area, or don't want to help out in that area. Mm-hmm. So this is a big sacrifice there too, as well. Even with kids, kids are another big one. When parents have kids, and let's say they divorce, the fa- sacrifice is, you know, from a male standpoint, if the female gets the child, which in most cases that happens, mm-hmm. they sacrifice the time with their child in that time period, and that's a big sacrifice. Yeah, for that some. is a big one. Some yeah. some people don't realize it, or some some parents don't take it as serious or don't care as much Mm. but there are a lot of parents out there that really do care and they want to spend that quality time with their kid and they want to be there for their kid but they have to sacrifice things because it didn't work out with the partner yeah um and this is an ultimate sacrifice for that's been a popular one 2022 now you know back in the day when i was growing up back in the 80s we don't time stamp my age either but you know all the parents stay together you know, it was, it was, it was the opposite. You know, it was always that, you know, if, if you were, if, if you had, came from a broken home or your parents were divorced, you were the outsider. Mm-hmm. And now it's the other way around. Right. You know, like if your parents are still married for 10 plus years, they're like, what, what do you mean? It's cause you guys aren't trying. You know, it's a lot of people are just don't, they give up. It's true. They give up, you know, don't give up. I mean, like, if you oh, really man, love them. I get two Christmases. You only get one. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I got four Christmases. Yeah. I have my mom, my stepmom, yeah. my other stepmom. Yeah. I got my dad. I got my other stepdad. <laughs> I'm like, all right now. I mean, that's a lot of presents to rack up. So, so good guys, for you. <laughs> think about the sacrifice that you've done for your relationship, or maybe your partner's done for your relationship, and give that gratitude and recognition to your partner. I promise it'll bring you guys even closer together. All right, guys, that's it for our Cupid's Corner. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're here every Sunday at 11 a.m. here on ABC. And don't forget, if you missed it live, DVR it or go over to Titan Medical Center on YouTube. Hit the subscribe and all notification bell so you can see all the Cupid's Corners with me and this little beautiful wife of mine, Cherise. I appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner. See you then.